In this video, we're going to be looking at dividing numbers by 10, 100 and 1000. These are the examples that we're going to be looking at in this video. Here is a place value grid. Tenths, hundredths and thousandths sit beyond the decimal point. So before the point, we have the whole number. And after the point, we have the part. Here is the number 21. We're going to divide this number by 10, 100 and 1000. Let's start by dividing it by 10. When we divide a number by 10, the digits move one space to the right. So 21 is now 2.1. Now let's divide the number by 100. When we divide numbers by 100, the digits move two spaces to the right. We need to use zero as a placeholder to show that there are no ones. So the answer is 0 0.21. Now let's divide the number by a thousand. When we divide numbers by a thousand, the digits move three spaces to the right. We need to use zero as a placeholder to show that there are no ones. We also need to use zero as a placeholder to show that there are no tenths. So the answer is 0 0.021. We have divided a two digit number by 10, 100 and 1000. Now let's look at an example of dividing a three digit number by 10, 100 and 1000. Here is the number 936. First, we're going to divide the number by 10. When we divide numbers by 10, the digits move one space to the right. So 936 becomes 93.6. Now let's divide the number by 100. When we divide numbers by 100, the digits move two spaces to the right. So 936 becomes 9.36. Now let's divide the number by 1000. When we divide numbers by 1000, the digits move three places to the right. We need to use zero as a placeholder to show that there are no ones. So the answer is 0.936. So now we have divided a three digit number by 10, 100 and 1000. Now let's have a look at a four digit number divided by 10, 100 and 1000. Here is the number 6320. So let's divide it by 10 first. When we divide numbers by 10, the digits move one space to the right. So 6320 becomes 632. Now let's divide the number by 100. When we divide numbers by 100, the digits move two places to the right. So the answer is 63.2. Now let's divide the number by 1000. When we divide numbers by 1000, the digits move three places to the right. So the answer is 6.32. So now we have divided a four digit number by 10, 100 and 1000. Now it's your turn. Have a go at these calculations. You can pause the video to give yourself time to work out the answers. Let me know your answers in the comments section.